So, uh, hello, I'm David. I almost never update my profile photo. Sorry about that. Um, and I exist on the internet with those names. Um, yeah, I also help organize this, but I'm just talking now. So Common Angle, um, for people who don't know, which is probably most people, because it's not really that important, it's about adding this extra comma between the last element in an array and the closing bracket for that array, which for me when I first saw it looked really weird and wrong and I wanted to run away. <coughs> but um, there, there is a good reason to do this, and it, it applies to objects as well, in case you're curious. Um, and it's, it makes it easier to copy around lines in your array. If I want to copy the kittens back before the regex, I can just do that without messing around with commas. And equally, it makes your git diffs much cleaner if you are making changes like that. If you're removing the final element in an array, that's a single line deletion change. It's not like a line deletion and a line modification to add a comma or remove a comma somewhere. Um, so it's kind of nice, and it gives you those little things. It's not really worth arguing about a lot, but it's just this nice little rule that gives you some nice changes. Um, and you can add it through any linter, eslint, jshint, anything like that. Um, and that's, that's all Comet Angle really is. It's also fun to say. I recommend you all try it <laughs> after I've finished speaking. Um, I timed this poorly, so I'm, I'm going to give it five more seconds and then get frustrated and change the slide forward and ruin all of my timing for the talk. There we go. Um, so you, you might be wondering, is this a slippery slope? Am I just going to add commas everywhere? Incidentally, if you're trying to annoy everyone um, in a semicolon debate, say, we'll get rid of all the semicolons and replace them with commas and just keep adding those. Um, but really, no, it's, it's not a slippery slope. It's only one extra comma. It does look super weird initially, but I promise you will get used to it, and you'll be glad of it the next time you want to move around elements in an array. Um, this is not using D3. It would have been much nicer that way. But um, yeah, I swear I won't add commas to anything else. It's just the last element in an array or the last element in a, a JavaScript object. Um, my next talk is about how I implemented that on Holy Mess. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so when, when we first went to go and implement this on like one of our smaller code bases, to be honest, we had like 472 errors. I wasn't about to go and add all those commas manually. Um, and ESLint will not automatically fix non-white space changes. Um, so, you know, I had all these commas to add, but I was too lazy to spend half an hour doing it manually. Um, so, of course, you know, I'll pick up one of my nice things, I'll go and do it with a regex. That would be fine, right? can definitely find stuff like that. This is actually one of the earlier regexes I used. It got worse um, because I'm trying to find arrays and objects. I'm sorry that's so small, but it, it's a terrible regex anyway, trust me. Um, it's a bad idea to try to parse JavaScript using a regex for something as complicated as this. And what I found was I wasn't catching all of the cases I wanted to catch and I was also breaking some other code. So I gave up on the regex. I've decided that's not really a nice thing. Um, so the actual solution is to acknowledge that ESLint has already found all of the cases where I need to add a comma, and it will actually output its errors to a JSON file for you. So as long as you only have comma dangle errors, you've got this nice JSON object with all of the line numbers and the file names where you need to make changes, and all you need to do is add a comma to the end of that line. So I wrote a terrible, admittedly, script that um, would add a comma to each of these lines. I'm not saying this is good code. I'm saying this was easier than spending half an hour doing it manually, and it was kind of fun to write a little bit of logic like this. I don't work with Node or the FS module much in my day job, so it was nice to kind of write some Node. Um, and I got to not actually follow any of the linting rules I was implementing while I was writing this code, so that was nice too. Um, yeah, I, I'd recommend fairly frequently just writing some node because it's fun and you get to kind of break the rules a little bit. Um, I was handling errors in my original version, I promise. I made it shorter so it would fit on the slide. Um, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure why I had to minus one each of the lines, but that's how I got it working. Again, <laughs> quick and dirty script. This is a nice thing. That's about it. Here's a description of those linting rules. Um, there'll be a link to my slides in the meetup page. And in a second, it'll say thank you, unless I forgot the final. Hey, there we go. Thanks very much.